This is a message from the government of Iran. Dear President Trump, we feel like we've gotten off on the wrong foot. You may not know it, but our countries have a great deal in common, a lot, a great deal in common. In fact, let us introduce ourselves. This is the Middle East, and here is Iran. Now you might notice this piece of land here. No, it is not a spelling error. It is Iraq, Iran, Iraq, different countries, crazy, I know. Couldn't be more different. They speak Arabic, they're mostly Arabs. We speak Farsi and we're mostly Persians. We couldn't be, the difference could not be more between these countries. Now it can be really confusing. Which one did I already attack? Which one I'm going to attack next? And that is what we're really afraid of, that you mix up the names and do something to us by mistake. It has happened in the past and it's going to happen again. In fact, that is how we believe we ended up on the travel ban list. You're sitting there in the middle of the night typing the executive order on your phone. You write Iraq, your phone says do you mean Iran? Then you're confused, you write both. Just in case, better safe than sorry. We understand and we get it, but in order to avoid such mistakes in the future, we're going to teach you something. There's a great way, the best way to tell these countries apart. Imagine a cat, imagine a beautiful cat, imagine a white beautiful cat. It's white, it's not dangerous, nothing, harmless cat. Now look at the map and look at Iran. Notice how it looks like a cat. Look at those tiny, cute little cat ears. From now on, whenever you hear Iran, you will think of the cat. We think it will stick in your mind because of how much you like pussies and you want to grab them whenever you see one. Now let's move on from the things you like and address the elephant in the room. No, I do not mean Steve Bannon. I'm talking about our missile related activities, which you're really concerned about. We also hear that you want to bolster your national air defense capabilities against North Korea and Iran. We don't know about this guy, but you have nothing to worry, really, you have nothing to worry about when it comes to Iran, and let me tell you why. This is an Iranian made car. It's called Pride. It has been in production since 1994. It is not a very good car. It is more likely that you die in a Pride than you get from point A to point B. It is not a safe car at all. It is one of the least safe cars in the world. In fact, there was a model of Pride which included the safety measure of an airbag. So whenever you would brake really hard, the car would notice the danger and the airbag would pop up. However, it was a very tiny car and the airbag was too powerful so the airbag would instead break your neck and kill you. So you would get killed by the safety measure. It was a huge problem, a big problem. Now you could die in a pride without even being in an accident. Impressive, really impressive. So we have this car in Iran, which is death on four wheels. And we call it pride, we literally call it pride. This is the peak of Iranian engineering. So believe me when I say you have nothing to worry about when it comes to our missiles. It is more likely that the missiles fall on our own heads than to reach another country, believe me. And as our foreign minister said, we will only use them defensively. He's right, we will never use them aggressively. At most, we will just do passive aggressive missile tests. Now let's move on to our people. We could talk about Maria Mirzakhani, a young recipient of the Fields Medal in Mathematics, or Anusha Ansari, the first self-funded woman who went to space. But we are worried that you might want to grab them. However, we have this person that we wouldn't mind you grabbing. Grab him all you like. And it's this guy. His name is Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. He used to be our president. Much like you, he was loved by a lot of people. He got a lot of votes and he was loved by the people. We believe you to have a lot in common. Great guy, honest guy, he was not afraid to voice his opinion. He was a pioneer in the field of alternative facts. He paved the way for you. You would have loved him. Great guy. He chose to believe alternative facts such as gay people don't exist or holocaust didn't really happen. I bet he wishes that you could have been presidents together. Much like you, he took criticism personally, very personally. One time he was so hurt that he stopped going to work for weeks. Imagine the president of the country stopped going to work for weeks because he was hurt, emotionally hurt. I bet you would love to be able to do that as well. 
Now, hopefully, you learn more about Iran and the Iranian people. We totally understand that America's first, and a lot of countries have already made videos on why they should be second. And let's be honest, we don't think we could be able to compete with Netherlands, Switzerland, Portugal, Denmark, or any of these European countries. However, can we agree on this? After America first, can we say Iran before Iraq? That would be great. People would be grateful. Everybody would love you for it. America first, Netherlands second, Denmark third, and then in the end, Iran before Iraq. Doesn't matter where, Iran before Iraq. Thank you, thank you, we love you. And God bless you, we've got the best God in Iran. In fact, the best God in the region. One of the best, great God, a great God. He's very, very, very powerful, very good guy. He's the truest, greatest God. God bless you.